Thank you, Sarah. I love, love that passion. And uh, I'm proud to be here tonight representing FMBO and honored to present this prestigious award. At FMBO, we believe deeply in a purpose-led approach focused on the communities we call home and our valued partners. That's why we are so committed to supporting educators and organizations like the NEA Foundation that work tirelessly to help meet the needs of educators and students. Educators are core to our communities, essential to their vitality and vibrancy. Just as every successful person can name at least one teacher that helps shape their life, we all know that educators collectively help ensure that our communities and our young people are positioned to succeed. On behalf of all of my colleagues at FMBO, it is my privilege to recognize an incredibly deserving organization that shares our purpose-led philosophy and deep commitment to enabling young people to pursue success through innovative arts and technology education. Over the past three decades, Urban Arts has served more than 2,000 educators and 260,000 students across 150 schools. 90% of these students are from low-income households and 92% are students of color. FMBO is incredibly grateful for Urban Arts' important work, yeah. And we are extremely excited to have the CEO of Urban Arts, Phil Courtney, accepting this year's FMBO Award for Outstanding Service to Public Education on behalf of Urban Arts. everyone thank you for having me you are a fun bunch yes you are uh, I'm Philip Courtney the CEO of Urban Arts um, in her award letter that I received a few months ago Sarah Sneed said this year the foundation wanted to lift up an organization committed to closing the opportunity gap for historically disadvantaged students um, and our, Urban Arts is focus our focus on technology and arts fit this description perfectly. So thank you, Sarah, the NEA Foundation, and FNBO for this tremendous award. It is an honor to be in the company of such distinguished recipients. So at Urban Arts, we believe that a quality education should not depend on a child's zip code. And that historically disadvantaged students should have a front row seat to the future economy. And I think we all share those beliefs here tonight. As Sarah noted, our approach is to tackle two inequities in education. The first, the lack of access to arts. And secondly, the lack of access to technology. The first, arts, is a human right. But the second, technology, has the capacity to be the great equalizer. So the magical relationship between arts and technology has existed for quite a while, right? The Egyptians, Leonardo da Vinci, the invention of photography, all of which were expressions of their time. Well, in our time, our version at Urban Arts goes like this. We teach underrepresented students the art and technology of game development through computer science, coding, animation, music, and storytelling. Yes, we teach our kids how to make video games. Not play them, make them. They also play them. Why? Because it is super fun, and you're more likely to persist through learning how to code if you get to make a game at the end. Artists become technologists, technologists become artists, and all become the proud owners of a portfolio of work 
that gets him into college to study a STEM subject. Thank you. You are so nice. <laughs> we also provide first-class college access services to ensure that our students earn the maximum in college scholarships. Why? Because too many first-generation students drop out of college or delay graduation due to financial insecurity. We want our students to graduate with no debt or as little debt as possible. Just in the past few years, our students have earned more than 15 million in college scholarships. And lastly, we connect our alumni to mentorship opportunities at media and tech companies generating that new, important, diverse talent pipeline. The video game industry alone is a $200 billion industry, and it's growing fast. But 80% of the people who work in that industry still look like me. Well, they look cooler than me, but you get what I'm saying. So we want to change that. We want them, our students, to have a seat at that table. We imagine a world where historically disadvantaged young people gain economic mobility through meaningful careers as creators, leaders, and thinkers in the media and creative tech fields. That's our vision for the world. Thank you for sharing our vision and supporting it on behalf of the students we're serving and the teachers who are, uh, bring our vision to life. Thank you so much. We are truly grateful. Good night.